All right, Matt Marshall for Bonesiders here with New Harding head football coach JT Stone. Coach, welcome to the Rams. How's it feel? Oh, it feels good. It feels good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, been in Charlotte for about say, two weeks, two or three weeks now, and uh, I love everything about Charlotte. So I'm excited for the opportunity and uh, ready to go. Absolutely. So what led you to take this job? You know, Harding's kind of a struggling program. Three wins last season. Why Harding? Why now? Um, just a little bit of background on, you know, just doing my research on the school. First off, there's, first off, there's a lot of tradition. Um, second, it was the people. It was the people that, that I was able to, to meet, and I saw something special in the school. And this is a school that's trying to do the right thing, that's trying to make a push um, for not only the football program, but for these kids. And it was something that just attracted me there. Um, there there's definitely a foundation, and, but it was really the, the people there that were, were all on the same page. We all went the same thing. and. Uh, I think there's going to be a good push for these kids uh, to turn this thing around. And, and, and again, when you can build something with, with the right people, that's what's exciting about this. So uh, I had other opportunities, but this is the one that tugged at my heart. This is something that uh, I, I really wanted to be a part of. You know, when you're a part of, uh, of something and you're building, it's, it's all about the team and, and, and that front office and the admin. You know, it's, it, it was a special thing. There. So talk to us about a little bit about your coaching philosophy coming from California, Santa Barbara High School. <laughs> All the way across the nation yes, to, to yes. Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Uh, let's start with your philosophy, and then what led you here uh, to Charlotte? Um, my, my philosophy has always been—I mean, I can go in different, different, different angles with this—but it's just to build men, um, build character, uh, to, to make sure these kids have a foundation uh, to, to provide the best high school experience for them. Um, again, there's there's sacrifices that that need to be made, and. and I've always believed that if a kid sacrifices outside of themselves, um, they're going to learn about learn a lot about themselves. So, uh, you know, it, it's really that um, really building character in men and, and, and what other uh, what other uh, sport to do with the football. So, uh, I, I'm just excited to be able to bring that to the kids and get them to understand how valuable their lives are. And, and if they play outside themselves and sacrifice for others, um, they're going to see what they can accomplish. Yeah, so what, what led you here to Charlotte from California, oh, Coach? Oh, led me to Charlotte. Well, my, my, my brother played for the Charlotte Hornets. He was a reserve player, probably, I want to say, four or five years ago. Um, so we moved out. My brother moved out here, and uh, we fell in love with the city. The time that he was here, um, um, you know, my mom retired from California and moved out here as well. But we fell in love with Charlotte the day we uh, touched down here. And uh, we could be, we've been coming out every summer. Um, all my family is on the East Coast anyways. My, my parents were Air Force brats. So when I was 12, they moved us out to Santa Barbara and Santa Barbara, California, and I've been there ever since. But uh, you know, this is almost like coming back home. Like I said, my whole entire family is on the East Coast, on the Eastern Shore. But uh, we fell in love with this city. This is a great city. Um, my kids love being here. Um, uh, but I, I'm just excited to be here. I, I, but that was really it. We, we fell in love with the city and uh, decided to make it home. Decided to make it home. Awesome. Awesome. So what does a JT Stone offense and defense look like? Uh, offense, uh, you know, like I said, we, we like to go. Um, I run the spread offense. I like getting our athletes the ball, um, you know, and, and, and that's one thing I do like about Harding. There, there are definitely some kids that can play there. Um, but I run the spread, 11 personnel, 10 personnel, and I like to get my guys the ball. Um, we're, 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 we're a big, you know, I would say 15 years ago, I was throwing the ball every single down. <laughs> that has changed. Um, I'm about 50-50 now. But again, it's really about uh, getting the ball to your athletes. And defensively, you know, obviously it's one of these things you have to see what you have every year. Um, when I first started, I, I, I ran a 40 front, a four man front. But as things evolved and you're dealing with the spread offices, of, I really turned into that, that stack 3 4 type of deal. So defensively, it all depends on what we have. You know, if, if we have a strong defensive line, we'll be in a four man front. If, we're in, uh, if we don't have that, and we got linebackers that can run, we're going to be in a 3 4 uh, type of deal. So. It just really defensively, just it just all it all matters on what we have that you. Um, but I, but, but back in Cali, we were facing spread offenses all the time, so we were the three man front a lot. Absolutely, coach. A uh, good answer. My last question for you: What do you want to say to your future players at Harding right now before you get on campus and get a chance to meet them? Um, just really uh, to the kids, man. Accept change. Um, change is good. I'm here, you guys are going to see my passion for you. Um, it's more than just football. Um, and I, I, I feel like you guys all buy in that that school there is, is pushing for you guys. We're all pulling for you guys to to be great. And uh, that's that's sort of my expectations. I'm going to work with you guys to, 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 to I'm blue in the face. But I feel like 
you guys have a great foundation here at Bell High School. And uh, if we work together, we work together, and you let me lead you in the right direction, you guys will be surprised what you can accomplish. Uh, because there's a core of people there who really want what's best for you guys. And uh, we're going to put our best foot forward to make sure you guys are held accountable, you have fun, and you grow as men. And uh, if you guys accept those things, you guys are going to be surprised where this program can go. Because everything is there for you guys. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to be here with you guys. You guys have no idea. I cannot wait to meet you guys. And uh, we are going to work together to do something special. And uh, be ready to go. Be ready to go. Because um, I am. I am. Absolutely, Coach. We can see the excitement in oh, you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to rock. You know, I was watching film all last night. Oh, all man. All last night, uh, I had an opportunity to watch film and see what kids were coming back. And like I said, there's, there's some talent there. There's some talent there. We just got to tweak some things and, and kids understand how to play the game for four quarters, and we're, we're going to be okay. We'll be all right. Absolutely. Coach, once again, congratulations on the job. Thank you. Welcome Thank to Charlotte. You. Absolutely. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it.